Um, you may have wanted to look at the bright side or always looked at the best or the potential here, but at the end of the day, this person, like they're a freaking swindler. They may be after you because you're making money right now, like opportunist energy, like you're growing or flowing, something good is going on for you, right? And they keep coming back into this reading. <laughs> what can you do to let them go? Just a, it's a realization that, you know, they're never going to change. You know, this kind of a person isn't going to change. I mean, it would take years and years of therapy or like drastic types of whatever, like a near death experience. And like, you know, something major would have to happen in order for this person to change. It certainly wouldn't be overnight. Hi everyone, welcome back to Turning Tides Tarot. My name is Alicia. Thank you all so very much for being here with me on this Sunday fun day. Um, it's a timeless reading, just in case anyone was wondering, but we are gonna figure out um, who's in your energy and what do they want, okay? Who's in your energy? What do they want? Uh, we're just gonna ring the sound bowl here and then we will get this party started, okay? So let's do the thing. Um, watch your ears just in case you're wearing earphones, all right? Here we go. Okay. Oh, spirits tell me, slow down, slow down. I've got a lot of energy right now. So uh, perhaps some of you needed to hear that. Let's just start with the energy oracle, speaking of energy. And uh, we're just going to get into it. We're going to find out what is going on. Let's call in spirit and yeah, let's do the thing. Call in on spirit with so much gratitude and love and all the things. I'm asking for divine guidance as I interpret these messages. May they help us all on our journey towards our highest and greatest good. I'm asking for love, peace, joy, abundance, and protection for myself, for you, and for all beings on the planet at this time. Thank you so very much, spirit. Okay, let's see. What is going on? Who's in your energy? And what do they want? Broken heart. Okay. Broken heart. Somebody here is not feeling the best. Okay. Broken hearted energy. Broken hearted energy. Hmm. Okay. What else? Tell me something else about this person. They're sad. They're broken hearted. Okay. What do we have? Door to value wanted to come out. And one more. Let's get one more. Let's just get one more, folks. Okay. That's the one. What is it? cornucopia you know we get this combination quite a bit okay in our tribe folks door to value broken heart even at cornucopia okay that's number 11. now at the bottom of the deck the thinking man here we go we have a masculine energy okay regardless of gender we're going to take the energy here we have a masculine energy who is all up in their head and they are clearly all up in your vibe okay they're all up in your energy now what i get right away from this from this energy here is that there is somebody again all up in their head uh feeling the feelings all up in their feelings as well um and somebody's starting to see your value i feel like some of you are shining stars you know some of you are on the rise on the glow up starting to see some blessings and abundance in your life and there's still somebody here who feels um just brokenhearted. I mean, like there's no other way. There's, they're sad. They're sad. Probably I'm just going to make an assumption here before we even get tarot on it. They're probably sad because they, it took them too long to see you for what you were worth, this shining star. And now everybody else is seeing it. Everyone's seeing you as being incredible, beautiful, amazing, super talented. Um, this person's finally seeing your worth. You may be, um, in this midst of receiving blessings at this point in time where people are almost like, I get, <laughs> I get this energy if you wanna take a look at this, this door to value. So and doors are opening up for you right now, okay? Um, and you see money flying out. So some of you are getting some financial opportunities. I feel like, you know, somebody's just like throwing money at you or it's the universe just like throwing, you have more than enough, okay? Especially here with this 
cornucopia energy okay this cornucopia is abundant energy blessings sunshine you know it just feels like you're doing really well <laughs> it feels like you're doing really awesome and this person is just thinking about wow I really missed my shot or oh, I missed my opportunity you know it's the same old same old right we get this a lot in the collective okay because there are folks that um, perhaps did not show up correctly or they didn't see your value or they may have tossed you aside or pick somebody else over you or something like that and it's always you know sometimes the spirit in the universe god will protect us actually this is a form of protection where these people don't get to see who we truly are and they like god will shield your value from people who don't have your best intentions um, at heart, okay, or in mind. So that's just something I'm getting intuitively. And again, this is a repeating kind of storyline. I'm aware of that, okay? So we're just gonna get some tarot and we're gonna find out some details and see what the story is. Um, but again, somebody, it's like regrets, right? It's, it's, it's regrets. Somebody didn't see your value, okay? And and now and now they are. Okay, that's basically what I'm what I'm getting here. And I feel like it's because others you may be in the spotlight. Again, I'm getting this shining star kind of a vibe, right? Chosen one, divine one, divine masculine, divine feminine, whatever you want to put on it as far as the label. Um you are in some type of glow up here, okay? So we have the hermit for their energy. Now that is Virgo energy and I'm showing the front camera. I should be showing the top camera here. Um, that is Virgo energy with the hermit. This is letting me know that this person has been silent. Okay. This person hasn't been speaking. Um, this person may even be, they have withdrawn, um, from their community, from their family and friends, whatever, right? They have gone within. Now this is, this is a good thing. This is where we learn our lessons, gain wisdom, get in touch with who we are, what we want, our inner, our higher selves and our inner light. Okay. So this person has been, um, kind of keeping silent. Okay. Um, now what else is going on with them? You know, we want to ask why, why exactly are, are they showing up in your energy? Why exactly is this hermit? <laughs> Definitely in that energy of the thinking man, right? The thinking masculine energy, the king of wands. Why are they in that energy? Um, you know what? I'm getting intuitively right off the bat here with this king of wands. This king of wands in this deck is seated. Now, normally the king of wands is a passionate leader. Like they will not... Um, stop for anything they're very determined this king of wands usually now this king of wands is in a seated position so they're taking some time out taking some time to rest to recoup to think time out to think time out to get in touch with the self here with the hermit remaining silent i just heard you you've brought them to their knees you brought them to their knees i feel like What's happened here, even just with these two energies, is that this person was normally, this masculine, I'm going to say it because that's what it is. There's a masculine energy here who is normally very outgoing, very determined, very action oriented, um, doesn't let anything rest, doesn't take a break, doesn't stop for anything. They may have a plate that's just so freaking full all the time. What's that? Ten of Wands. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't even know. Okay. Um, I guess I'll show, I don't know what camera to show these days because I don't know what's going on in the editing, but you know this person usually it's like they busy themselves on purpose they put so much on their plate so that they don't have time to think now what's happened is they have seen you so something has been going on with you um whether that be um they've seen it for themselves you know run into you perhaps you know maybe you've been on um social media or something like that some kind of something good has been happening for you some type of blessing okay <clears throat> excuse me some type of blessing has been coming into your life you've been successful in some type of way and it's like this brought this masculine to their knees it's like spirit allowed them to see you for your worth and your true you know beauty or your, your glory okay where they didn't see you in this light before okay i feel like um spirit was shielding them from seeing who you truly are and obviously here with this brokenhearted energy they're not feeling very good about it now um, again, they purposefully busy themselves in order for them to not really have time to think or to feel. Um, but it seems that you have 
whatever has happened with you recently, you can let me know in the comments, okay? If this is your reading, something good would have happened to you. You may have had some kind of offer or a promotion or been in the spotlight or something really good with your projects has gone down or maybe you started a, a new relationship or something that's really, um, just something very, very happy. You know, it's a happy feeling that's happening for you. And this, seeing you in this light, um, seeing you in this light as spirit has lifted the veil from from their eyes they can see you now for who you truly are it has literally brought this this masculine to their knees and now all they can do is is think okay and all they can do is marinate in this heartache kind of an energy okay um, it is weighing very heavily on them sorry Okay, that's my mate. <laughs> it's it's weighing very, very heavily on them at this point in time, and they're taking a time out, okay? So, um, yeah, this is why they're in your energies, because they can't stop thinking about you. What's this? Strength. This is you. I feel like this is you. Um, again, I keep showing the front-facing camera. Um, this is you with strength. I feel like what's happened here is that you have pulled your energy away from this person you walked away from this person okay or at least you stopped investing in them um again you're showing up as very strong having overcome um quite a few challenges here and we have been picking this up in the collective that good things are starting to come to those who are um it's like you're being rewarded spirit the universe god you're you're getting these blessings because you know there has been so many things that have been unfair here for you. Like you've received the shit end of the stick for um, some time, especially perhaps in regards to this individual, they may have treated you pretty poorly, um, you know, but it actually built you up. You became stronger for this. So um, anyways, what I'm seeing is that you, you're getting some type of a reward for all of this, um, I want to say like blood, sweat, and tears, okay? Um, it, you've been putting in some work here and you are showing up as very strong, very confident, and um, just honestly standing in your power, okay? So uh, this masculine is seeing you in all your glory, so it's so to speak. Now, they're not necess they're not taking action. This is not about um, action just yet. We can ask that down the line, but I'm telling you right now, uh, whatever you've done, your strength, okay, your courage, your determination, um, that, that I feel like this masculine is, is really surprised that um, you haven't been brought down. I don't know why I keep getting like brought down or like, I don't know if this was a takedown or maybe I'm not sure yet if there was ill intention in the way where they were trying to take you down in some type of way. Um, or they thought that you wouldn't rise back up. Okay. So th there was this, there's this feeling that they're, sh they're in some kind of shock. Okay. That they're in some kind of shock. You brought them to their knees. Um, and it is, due to your strength okay it is due to your strength um and this display of strength and how you you have overcome so many challenges here okay so um what do they want <laughs> what do they want here they're in your energy because they're thinking about you okay um now yeah let's see they're thinking about you the wheel of fortune what do they want they want things to change, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is all about the tides turning. Yeah, that's why I called, uh, you know, <laughs> this uh, Turning Tides Tarot. That's why I called myself Turning Tides Tarot because the tides are always going to turn. You know, it's one thing that we can count on in life is things changing constantly, right? There's always change. Now, this is related to timing and fate and destiny and all of the things. So what do they want? They want the tides to turn in their favor. Okay, uh, the Wheel of Fortune is all about karmic lessons as well, learning lessons, the passage of time, cycles, it's so deep. So what do they want from you? They want, <laughs> they want to, wow, okay, let me just get a little bit of clarification on this before I spit it out, because I feel like they want another, this is like, I, I want another go around, I want another try, I want things to change, um, uh, you know, turn back the hands of time, like all of these things, and I just heard that song by Latasha Lee. Um, um, yeah, turn back time, something like that. It's not the share one. It's by Latasha Lee. I know that for sure. I heard it because she's got a wicked voice and it's sounding out in my mind right now. Okay. I'm hearing it. Okay. So the wheel of fortune, the wheel of fortune, why the wheel of fortune? What do they want to change? They're feeling like, oh, they missed. I definitely know that they're feeling like they've missed some type of opportunity here. Oh, well. 
<laughs> you know, it's four of coins, knight of coins. Yeah, because you know what it is. They they understand. Okay, with the four of coins and the knight of coins, this person totally knows that they didn't make any offers. They didn't. This person took their time. This person held back. This person was hanging on to like what? Um, they weren't doing anything. This person never took any action towards you. Okay, um, they may have. Like, I don't want to just jump to conclusions and say breadcrumbed and stuff like that. But they were never truly open. They were never truly available for you, to you. Um, they they took their sweet ass time is basically what I'm seeing here. Because um, they felt, huh, ah, okay. So what it is here that I'm seeing is um, they felt that, okay, they knew and they felt that the two of you were somehow faded and they figured that you were never going to go away like this connection was never going to go anywhere so they didn't have to make any moves they didn't have to give you anything they didn't have to um put in any time energy and effort into this connection that it was just always going to be there because the two of you were faded in some type of way well that's not how it works and i feel like this is what this masculine is coming into a realization is that we all have divine free will and we can make decisions um especially if there is somebody here who I'm picking up on you and your energy here, the strength energy of learning a lot of difficult lessons, learning your value, learning your self-worth, being kind to yourself, um, no, and, and not, not settling for anything less than what you deserve. So this masculine wasn't doing anything to keep you. And now it's like you brought them to their knees by walking away or because you are moving on in a successful direction without them. Okay. So they don't like it. And that's why they're in their ear energy. And what do they want? They want things to change, but it doesn't really look like they're willing to put in any effort. We have this King of Wands here that is absolutely seated in their chair, not doing anything, not taking a leadership role, not taking initiative here, okay? Um, and, and keeping to themselves with the Hermit. So they're not talking about it either. So what do they want? Like, you know, like it's kind of silly that they're still hanging on to this connection um, you know, and, and they're still hanging on to your energy. So this is very heavy in the collective right now. We This is a repeating theme, y'all. And I do apologize if this is not your story. Um, but it, it's the energy hasn't quite moved. Okay, it hasn't quite moved. So something hasn't played out. This person is still kind of stuck. And that's why, you know, they're stuck on you, right? And we did have a reading um, just a couple days ago, you know, that this person was stuck on you. I feel like this is the same um, type of energy, okay? The same type of energy. So let's just move forward, okay? And um, what if, you know what? Let's get an oracle and see um, it, what's going on. Like, what, what do they want to say or whatever? Like, what are they, what's the point? You know, what's the point of all this? We belong together, okay? So now that they see you shining, now that they see you glowing, okay? Um, they want you, they, they feel that you, the two of you belong together. Maybe they've always thought that, okay? They could have always felt that the two, again, they, well, they did feel that this was faded, right? So they did feel that the two of you were going to end up together so that's that's why they felt that it was okay to not put any time energy and effort into this connection because again they felt like you were always going to be there and i feel like based on the energy i'm picking up from you and our tribe here i feel like that's uh you know this is a rude awakening basically what's happening for this you brought them to the your You've, you've brought this masculine to their knees um, by your own strength of will and your determination to move past this and, and to get something um, or to create something a lot more abundant for you. And it's happening. Okay. So it's happening. Now they feel like you belong together. And I feel like, you know, well, let's see. I want to ask again before we get into your energy, because I don't want to, well, we've already spent some time on them. So, um, I just want I want to ask something else here. Are they going to um, take any action to to come towards you? Are they going, you know, are they planning to come towards you, or are they just planning on marinating in this energy and and you know playing? It's like playing the victim when they weren't, you know, like they're. I feel like there's like I, I, there's so many. Um, I'm picking up on like even like a low key anger, like slash jealousy here going on with this person because again, um, they feel some type of they feel like they have a right to you and your energy, like um, some possessiveness that the two of you belong together, but in this possessive way, like um, this person is mine. Um, I, I, you know, like they just didn't think or feel that you would ever move away from this or stop investing in them. Okay. 
<sighs> they thought wrong is what I'm, <laughs> I just heard that. So somebody here in our, in our tribe just screamed out, well, they thought wrong and they did. And they're starting to see that. And that's again, what's bringing them to their knees. Okay. Um, this could have been, I, I don't know why I just heard grown, grown ass player. So like this person could have been like way too old. And we, we had a reading like this, like last month. And honestly, it's, uh, it's gone for me. Uh, it's gone a bit viral. Like it's almost at a hundred thousand views. And I, I, it, it makes me sad because the title is this washed up player is obsessed and like how many of these washed up players out there are, you know, like it, it's like they're all butthurt because uh, the feminine energies, you know, feminine energies are rising up, gaining the strength and they are moving away from these, you know, it's like they're waking up from or, or, or just detaching right from these um, low vibe individuals who just played tricks on them. And, and, you know, so it's like, this is kind of, it's all kind of interrelated here. Um, I do feel like this is that kind of same energy, like maybe a washed up player, like this person would have perhaps put other people ahead of you as far as prioritizing in their life. And now it's like, they realize that you should have been the number one priority for them as far as like, you know, um, people they were investing in okay because you're the one that's rising to the top at this point in time and it's like you've always been the best option but they always felt that they could keep you around for whatever reason so I mean it's stupid <laughs> that they could think that um but it is what it is they always felt that they could come back to you and reserve you for when they were finished playing you know this is the kind of energy that I'm getting so not so great but you know what? We're letting them wallow in it because that's what they're doing. They're marinating, they're, wall they're wallowing in this, you know, um, energy. And they're a little bit pissed off, not going to lie. So are they going to take any action towards you? Is there anything that we need to know? Okay. Anything that we need to know. They're still in your energy, if you were wondering. Um, especially if you're feeling somebody else's emotions or, like, if your mood has changed randomly. And you're like, oh, this is not me. This is not me. You're, still, you're picking up on them, okay? Um. Um, and there are so many, um, somebody asked if I would do like a cord cutting, uh, meditations and ceremonies, stuff like that. That's not really my specialty. Um, it, I would love to, but it, you know, the, I would have to do more time and energy and research and things like that. It's really not my specialty at the moment. That might be something that I do perhaps next year or in the future, but there are amazing resources out there already. People who specialize in those areas. Okay. Um, here on YouTube. Okay. And I like, um, I'll, I'll make some recommendations. I really enjoy silver hair. Um, I enjoy, um, Loon innate. Um, who else is really good for like cord cutting? There's another, there's another Reiki man uh, from the UK. He, his name is Neil Cooper and he's very, very good. Um, I, I find his energy to be really good for cleansing and stuff like that. So there are people who are specialized already in that area and um, mine is tarot. So I'm going to get back to the reading. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get back to the reading. Is there anything that we know here? Um, is there anything that we need to know about any action them coming back in? King of Pentacles. Okay, King of Pentacles, I'm going to clarify that because that's not really an action. Um, what action? King of Pentacles here. The King of Pentacles is somebody, they might come at you, show up and say like, look, I've grown, I've matured, um, I have everything you need, I'm the one you want, like <laughs> I'm the one you've always wanted. They're going to come at you uh, perhaps um, being quite flashy and trying to show you, yeah, um, they're... <sighs> This person is very, very much stuck in a materialistic mindset. I don't feel like they're ever going to get um, change their ways. I got to be real. Uh, with the Eight of Swords here, this person doesn't look like they're changing for anyone or anything. Okay, um, they may come at you and present themselves as being the King of Pentacles. I'm solid. I can commit. I'm stable. I've grown. I've learned. I'm, I'm, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, it's it feels like there's some type of entrapment going on here. Okay, it feels like it's only to get you back, like to get you back on board like it's kind of it kind of feels like a conquering like a conquest or something like um getting you back just to keep you stuck like honestly I, I don't really like this person's vibe and they're in yours um please do whatever you need to do to try to work on clearing them out of your energy okay um 
Also, it would help if you are, and I'm just going to call it out for anybody who needs to be called out in some type of way. Um, it can be helpful, but I do feel like if you're checking on them, if you're still keeping tabs on them, if you're still watching readings about this person, you're keeping, you're keeping yourself stuck on them as well. Okay. So, um, you know, it is what it is. You're, you're actually, um, strengthening that cord if you continue to, um, invest even like if even if it's like not a surface level thing like they can't tell like you're not calling them you're not texting them you know whatever um you know you're staying away from them but if you're still low key like checking on them or thinking about them constantly you know distract yourself by doing other things like whatever you have to do um put some type of plan in place so when this person comes up in your mind well i'm going to do this or i'm going to watch a reading that's good for me or like you know i'm i'm going to whatever you need to do i'm going to go run around the block like i don't know you, you'll have to put in something that makes you feel good rather than focusing any time energy uh, thinking you know onto this person because that just strengths strengthens the cord okay um and that's that's just some advice take it or leave it okay <laughs> for whoever needs it so i do feel like this person may come back you know and and it's like this person i do get um they definitely don't want you to shine bright and not be part of your life. They don't, they don't want to, <clears throat> they feel like you belong to them, that you're a possession. Okay. But there's, there, there's somebody that um, is going to like put you in their pocket and never pull you out. Like, it's like, how do I, I don't even know how to explain it. I don't like this person's energy. We have nine of pentacles. I feel like that's you. I feel like you're good on your own. Nine of pentacles here at the bottom. Um, I'm, we're getting a lot of this in the collective right now. I feel like uh, there are feminine energies here who perhaps um, were wanting something from this person, having been through a lot or whatever, at one point thinking or believing that the two of you belong together. Really, you just learned a lot about yourself and you're, you're moving away from that space. You no longer see this person as being somebody that you would want to um, build with because you see them as being someone who isn't capable of the kind of love that you're interested in, okay, or the kind of relationship that you really truly want. Um, and so this is coming up a lot in the collective. It's super strong. And these messages, I feel, keep getting repeated. Um, they keep coming up because I feel like it's also can be a really useful tool to remind ourselves, especially if we feel like we're getting lost or, you know, if we are checking up on them or doing whatever, right? Like it's, it's almost like, um, remember what we're doing here. Okay. Remember what we're doing. We're not doing this. We're, we're, we're not, you know, investing in this person anymore. We're moving forward towards our success. So at this point in time, I am going to stop looking into what's going on for them. We're going to see what's coming towards you. We're going to use um, a different deck here. Okay. We're going to use a different deck. What is coming towards you and what you can look forward to. Okay. Um, or if there's any advice first, actually, let's ask if there's any advice coming in from spirit about how you can um, detach even more, because I feel like that's who we're talking to. This is the reading. This is somebody who is not interested in this. Um, I'm going to just say it again. This washed up player. You brought this washed up player to their knees. Okay. You know, this is what it is. Like they are freaking uh, flabbergasted that you are no longer playing a part in this game. So we have death, rebirth, and the queen of cups. Okay. This is about cutting cords, death and rebirth here. This is transforming the situation, right? Um, we've got putting an ending to it. Okay. And in order for the transformation to take place, we have to completely let go. We have to cut that cord, you know? Um, and I, I know I hear people saying like, I've been trying, I've been trying, I've been trying. Um, don't give up. Okay. Don't give up. Keep doing what you're doing, but also expand. Maybe what you're doing isn't working. There could be something else that might work for you, okay? Um, as far as cord cutting and stuff, meditations, whatever. Um, but I do feel there is a lot of power in, you know, like practice makes perfect. The more you you detach or busy yourself with something else or pour in um, your time and energy onto yourself in a project or something that is going to be good for you, um, which I feel like you kind of already know this and you've been doing this because good things are happening for you. Um, you know, the more you will go through this transformation and you're going to feel a lot lighter having released this person. So with death, we have to completely close the door and in order for a new one to open. Okay. It's not like this one's still open a crack and then we get, you know, another, and then we have a choice. No, you have to absolutely put it to bed. 
and, and be like, no, I'm done. I'm done, done, done. This is dead. This is over. We ain't digging up no graves. Okay. Like I'm not going back. Okay. I'm not going back and you couldn't pay me to go back. This is the kind of energy I'm picking up on. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. <coughs> Maybe it is all the talking that like triggers my throat. So I got the mate. Sorry, y'all. I know it's not pleasant to hear. Okay. Um, yeah, but with the Queen of Cups, it's like your intuition. You, this is something that you already know. Okay, this is something that you already know. I feel like you already know what you have to do. And there may be something, if we're honest with ourselves, there could be something that, you know, we may be keeping the door open just a crack. Okay. Um, and that's kind of what's keeping this person stuck on you or what's keeping them avail like, not that you're available to them, but it's like, strengthening the cord or not allowing the cord to just shrivel up and die off. Like, you know, yeah, you just follow follow your gut, follow your instinct. I feel like you know what you have to do here. And, and there is a, a, a solid ending, a solid ending. And even if that's like, okay, stop. Okay, I'm just going to say stop indulging in, in some readings that are like going to, you know, draw you in to even think about this person. Okay. And, I, and this, this one included, right? <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, it, it's it's kind of, you know, it is what it is. Like, you can use your own discernment and know that I'm not going to watch a reading that I know it's going to be about this person. Okay. Um, cause that can keep you stuck and keep it, keep it, keep that door open in a way, even if it's just a crack. Okay. So you may want to, I don't know. This is just advice. Just advice. Yeah. Seven of swords. It's like allowing, allowing this energy to kind of sneak in, you know, through that crack. Okay. This person's never going to have, um, your best intentions at heart. Okay. I feel like they're going to try to swindle. I'm getting swindler vibes. <laughs> like this is a swindler. Um, you know, and I feel like you've already seen this and know this. Okay. Whoever I'm reading for, you already know, um, you may have wanted to look at the bright side or always looked at the best or the potential here. But at the end of the day, this person, like they're a freaking swindler. They may be after you because you're making money right now, like opportunist energy, like you're growing or flowing. Something good is going on for you, right? And they keep coming back into this reading. <laughs> what can you do to let them go? Just a, it's a realization that, you know, they're never going to change. You know, this kind of a person isn't going to change. I mean, it would take years and years of therapy or like drastic types of whatever, like a near death experience. And like, you know, something major would have to happen in order for this person to change. It certainly wouldn't be overnight but they may come back trying to convince you that that's the case. Okay. So perhaps that's the point of this reading. Don't fall for it. You'll know with your intuition, um, you know, closing this door completely. Okay. And I keep repeating myself. So <laughs> let's go on. Um, what is good that's coming into you, please? What's good that's coming into you? Cause that's really what I want to end this reading on. What's good that you can look forward to, um, coming into you, coming into you. Okay. What's good that you can look forward to coming into you? Oh, four of cups. Why four of cups? Maybe what's good is like, you may feel really good rejecting this person. You may feel really good. That might actually be a very strong exercise. So when this person comes back around and they come, you know, trying to flash, I just get somebody who's like flashing, like perhaps gold or jewelry or something like trying to be really flashy or like pimping or something. And you're just like, mm, I'm not interested. Like, that's boring to me. You know, I'm not really impressed, you know, by this display of you know, this display. I'm not, I'm not impressed by it. So I feel like that actually, it would be a really good feeling for you to just be like, so real and, and, and in this strength energy where you're like, I'm not even interested, bud. Okay. That could be a thing. I'm not interested, bro, sis. Mm -mm, not happening. Okay. That bores me. This bores me. You bore me like that kind of a thing. Um, might make you feel good. Okay. What else is coming in? What else is coming in? Um, you may have like, you may be, I just got this too. Um, here's strength, by the way, come up here. The bottom of the deck came out. Um, you may have other offers coming into you as well. Um, and they might feel boring. Um, now, what do I mean by that? 
is they could be very good. It could be a missed opportunity for you. So there's a little bit of a warning here for you. Um, just because somebody isn't, um, yeah, I feel like you're starting to, to see or experience that sometimes the, the not non-dramatic is actually better. So you may be um, trauma bonded to this individual and sometimes that's what happens. Okay. Again, look it up. But what I mean by that is you may have some really good offers or opportunities coming into you as far as love, love life dates, whatever offers, love offers coming in. And you see them as being like stable, solid, you know, not very exciting. Um, but Spirit's saying, you know, that's probably a good thing, okay? This person brought a lot of drama into your life, and I feel like there's this sense of, you know, if it if it feels peaceful, then I'm, I'm not going to feel anything. So there, or like the, the feelings aren't strong. I'm looking for something that was intense, and you got to ask yourself, why do you need the intensity, right? Um, I feel like there has been trauma bonding here, okay? And you're, you're healing and releasing it, and again, overcoming it, whatever it is. So, um, just be careful just for some of you. I know that might not be for everyone, but sometimes the, the boring ones are the best ones <laughs> and you get to know one another and it takes time and become friends and all these things, but they're, they're not somebody who's going to like freaking put you on an emotional roller coaster. So that's actually a good thing. Okay. Um, somebody needed to hear that. Okay. You are strong. So what else is coming into you? So it's just a little bit of a warning not to miss any opportunities from somebody, um, new. Yeah. Who has this potential? If somebody new who has the potential of long longevity, stability, okay, uh, maximum abundance, something that you could actually build a life with, long-term connections here, okay, build a family life, you know, um, whatever is important to you, this is like achieving that goal, right, maybe it's, I could, I could buy a house with this person, I could happily live with this new person, you know, you gotta, it's like, but they're not coming up as being flashy in, in some type of way, now I feel like for you, whoever's tuning into this reading, this is what you you really need to know is that um there's there's kind of a red flag going on with someone who's going to show up and be like too good to be true or very flashy over the top or whatever you want to say trying to like flex okay trying to flex their money or like what they have and you know whatever that that's going to just lead to this look at that that heartache that heartbreak you know and i feel like it's just going to lead to more disappointment here the person who's like stable and balanced and steady and might not come off that exciting to you at first is going to be uh your best bet for actual um healthy love relationship okay so um yeah this is getting a little bit deep i feel like there are a lot of um things to dive a little bit deeper here, like themes um, of trauma bonding and things like that here. Um, yeah, but I'm going to leave that up to you. I'm going to leave that up to you to do because, you know, do your own research, <laughs> do your own research. Okay. And we're just reading cards. We're just reading energy here. And what else on this? I feel like there is something new. Okay. So something is going to transform. You're going to transform. Once you close the door, here's the thing is once you close the door completely to this person, that's when you're going to start to see new energy coming in. Um, and, and you have to, it's like, and I, I'm not here telling you what to do, but if you are wanting something new to come into you and you are wanting to focus on like a healthy long-term type of connection, partnership, you have to absolutely close the door on this person. Otherwise, you're, you're, you're not going to go anywhere and they're going to continue to be stuck on your energy. You have to shut it down. You have to shut them down completely, okay? So some of you are going to take joy in doing that. <laughs> and, and you know, you are going to usher in something beautiful and abundant for yourself as far as in your love life, okay? We have this two of wands looking out to the future. Um, yeah, looking out to the future. What do we have here? Nine of swords. Some of you are worried if you'll ever find that love, if that love will ever come in? Um, the answer is yes. But again, it really depends. This true love, this 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 solid, stable love, um, the stuff that you're ordering, the stuff that you're wanting, the stuff that you're actually um, interested in, <laughs> rather than this tumultuous connection. I mean, it, it will come, but only when you close the door on this individual. And there's a ton of readings I'm going to link in the um, like the information thing here. Um, or I don't know if it's easier to link them below. I don't know. But there's a ton of readings um, that I feel like this is a, like a culmination of a ton of readings that we've already done. So I'm just going to pull a couple Oracle energies on it. And um, hopefully you got some messages here that have been of help. I want, uh, I want something love 
though I want to take one of these love oracles and just see what we have to look forward to. I don't really want to talk about uh, the person that needs to just frig off. Like this person needs to frig off out of your energy, okay? So let's talk about the new person or if there's any advice or anything you need to know, please, Spirit, about how to move forward in love here or what to expect, okay? This one, what is it? I just want to look at the illustration here. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Hearts with wings. It reminds me of like, chakra some kind of evolution enlightenment and the wings coming flying up elevating um, a higher love even okay um oh, wow and it says the past is now behind you release it and embrace new possibilities a new path is now available to you follow it with faith that's basically it thank you spirit we get what we ask for <laughs> we get what we ask for around here it's quite beautiful let's get some uh first i always want to go with this first let's do self-love first then we'll get universe has my back and some um affirmations here for you if i remember i will link to some of those readings maybe i'll do it at the end screen um yeah that's probably best i'll do i'll do it at the end screen so just stay tuned okay so you can pick through some of the readings that I feel like are relevant here. Okay, I am sending you all so much love. Okay, what do we need to know for self-love, please? What do we need to know for self-love? Two, okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have remember your spark, okay? So good things are happening for you, but you are here for a divine purpose. Remember, remember it or redefine your purpose for yourself, whatever, okay? Both work, <laughs> both work. Just remember your spark, okay? Then we have, okay, find balance and share light. Okay, so even, find balance. Even moderation re requires moderation. Swinging from one extreme to another can put one out of balance. Restore your peace from within, okay? And this could be speaking to perhaps one day you feel like you miss this individual or you're thinking about them a lot and the next day you're like, F them, you gotta come to some type of, balance within that's like you know what i understand this person isn't going to change it's always going to be the same and and kind of level yourself out so you can get yourself off the emotional roller coaster that's just for somebody not for everyone okay finding that balance and then we have share your light share light so share your trials as well as your triumphs your stories benefit you in the telling and others in the hearing. So spreading the light of transformation. You are going through a major transformation right now. And perhaps your experience going through this and, and stepping into your own strength is, is going to be helpful for someone else who may be at the beginning stages of something like that or in the thick of it, right? You never know um, who's, who's going to hear your story and how it's going to affect them, okay, in a, in a positive way, right, through your experience. So that's something. <laughs> Okay, for someone. Whoa, that came out quick. Okay, and then we have, I forgive myself. Okay, this one kind of jumped out of the deck. So someone needs to uh, hear it. And you know, strength is about self-forgiveness as well. Okay, having kindness and compassion to ourselves and knowing that, you know, we had to go through what we went through in order to get to where we are. Okay, so no judgment onto the self, um, just as you wouldn't judge someone else that you loved. Okay, so it's an act of self-love. So as I forgive myself, I, I leave behind all feelings of not being good enough and I am free to love myself. Okay. Again, an act of self-love. This has been um, pretty good reading, actually, I feel like. Um, even if, it, again, it was just here to um, solidify your stance or to confirm what you already know or whatever the case, you know, take what you need, leave the rest. Hopefully you got some good nuggets of information. You can always let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, looking forward to speaking with you again. Sending you all so much love. Bye.